You think you can beat the system? Well, you can't. At least not in these games. Hey guys, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for another top 10 brutal punishments given to cheaters. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at another 10 ways that developers have punished players for cheating in their games. And if you don't see a notable punishment on this list, make sure to check out the original one. Okay, justice time. <laughs> Number 10, Konami Code Fails, Various. The Konami Code is, by far, the most famous cheat code in gaming history. To this day, there are games still using the code as a tribute to games of the old days. Although, not every game rewards players for memorizing the code. In Poppin Twin B, the code will cause your ship to crash to the ground and restart the level. In Contra 4, the Konami code acts as an instant death code, unless you put it with the DS touchscreen during the opening helicopter drop. And inputting it to Super Monkey Ball Jr. changes the game's title screen to Super Nice Try. It just goes to show that knowing your pop culture won't get you a free pass on every game. So, be careful when you use it. Number 9. Getting Cheesed. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We're all used to cheesing some bosses in our favorite games. Some bosses. However, some games will make it clear that we need to play the game the way the developers intended for us to play it. Take Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, for example. During the boss fight against Tiny Tiger, it's possible for you to cheese your way through the Lion Stampede segments by standing in the upper left corner of the stage. However, if you tried replicating this exploit in the Insane Trilogy remake, Vicarious Visions would guilt trip you by having the audience hurl cheese wedges. You may have been able to cheat past High Road and Road to Nowhere, but Vicarious sure as hell wasn't going to let you get away with this. Number 8. Boss Rush Mode. Crusader, no regret. Have you ever tried inputting cheat codes of prior games into your favorite sequels? Fans of Crusader No Remorse sure did when Crusader No Regret came out, and they were given a nasty surprise. Inputting codes from the first game would cause No Regret to transport the player into a secret level filled with 8 Chairman Dragon mechs. Normally, this would prove impossible for any normal human being. Those who have beaten it have confirmed that conquering the supposed punishment nets you no reward. Instead, the game still outright kills you for being a lousy cheater. For once, it seems like the game is being a sore loser. Number 7. Using Autofire. Metal Gear Solid. Hey, French films are alright, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. Remember the old days when third-party controllers came with buttons that allowed you to auto-fire? Some games may have forgiven and forgot, but Metal Gear Solid wasn't gonna let that shit fly. During Ocelot's interrogation scene, the notorious gunslinger looks into the camera and says, Don't even think about using auto-fire, or I'll know. Honest players using the standard controller had nothing to worry about. Those who ignored Ocelot's threats and used auto-fire got to see Snake electrocuted to death for an uncomfortable minute. Hope your cheating was worth it, guys. You got to see a man die. Are you proud of yourselves? How did you like that? Shall we go again? Number 6. Using Doom's Cheats. Heretic. As we said about the Konami code, be careful of where you use classic cheat codes. The same applies to using old cheats from Doom. Unfortunately, those who played Raven Software's Heretic found out the hard way. In Doom, inputting the code IDDQD would grant the player God Mode, making them invulnerable to all damage. In Heretic, this code will instantly kill the player. A similar situation plays out for the IDKFA cheat, 
which grants the player access to all weapons in Doom. Although, in Heretic, it takes away the player's weapons, leaving them only with a stick. Hope you're up for a challenge, because this won't get you far, you cheater. Number 5. The Serious Room, The Stanley Parable In fact, this is my serious room. It's where I come to be serious. If you were ever sent to the principal's office as a kid, this punishment may be familiar. A little too familiar. Although, if you have a conniving friend that cheats a lot, this might be a good joke to pull on them. When playing the Stanley Parable, typing SV underscore cheats into the command box will put you in the worst environment that has ever existed, the serious room. You just tried to activate server cheats, which of course runs the risk of breaking the entire game. You'll be forced to sit through a lengthy lecture by the game's narrator, coaxing you about the mere thought of cheating. Cheaters don't ever win, and the Stanley Parable has certainly made its stance clear. I'm going to the store to look through more tables. Hopefully I find one that conveys how wrong what you're doing is. Number 4. Branded as a Thief. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. This is a classic Nintendo cheat that many Zelda fans are aware of. In The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, it is possible to snag a free item in one of the game's shops. Simply walk in, grab the item you want, make him face the wall, and run out of there before he can turn around. You'll be able to nab the item for free, but beware, the game knows all. NPCs will start to refer to you as Thief instead of your character name for the rest of the game, and the next time you enter a shop, you'll pay the ultimate price. Cheaters, would you rather Link go out as a brave hero or a petty crook? Either way, it'll be on your guilty conscience. Number 3. A Lengthy Lecture – Animal Crossing Series Speaking of a guilty conscience, Animal Crossing will certainly put you through the ringer. Because Animal Crossing relies on activity in real time, the game doesn't like it if you try to manipulate your save file by any means, including, air quotes, forgetting to save. You know who you are. Those who did so got to resume the game with an insanely long lecture from Mr. Rossetti. You won't be able to do anything until you talk to him either, as walking away will get him even more irritated. This only gets worse in later titles, when he may ask you to type out specific phrases like Hail Rossetti, or even threaten to wipe your save file. Best not to get on his bad side. Number 2. Botany Bay – RuneScape I would have believed you were more likely to emit the sound of grinding gears, you clockwork demon! There are many online games out there that will do anything they can to utterly humiliate cheaters. RuneScape players will certainly know this for a fact due to the existence of an island made specifically for cheaters, Botany Bay. A historic reference to the British prison colony that eventually became Australia, cheaters that are caught red-handed after two warnings prior will have their characters teleported to the island of Botany Bay where their character will be put on trial. This cheat was presented with a contract of rules to uphold while they stayed in our lands, and they broke them. Cheaters can watch helplessly as their character is humiliated and brutally killed off before being permanently banned from the game. In moments like this, we can't help but think of a certain scene from Avengers Infinity War. What did it cost? Everything. Number 1. Doing Time Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Whereas Epic Games was suing Fortnite cheaters left and right, PUBG Corp has been sending their cheaters straight to prison. Well, in China at least. In 2018, PUBG Corp discovered over 140 Chinese hackers selling cheating software, some containing Trojan viruses. All hackers were arrested, with some facing 5.1 million in fines. Cheating is as big of a problem as it has ever been in gaming. It can hurt a game's reputation and discourage players from returning. 
So developers won't take cheating lightly, even if it means filing a lawsuit or dishing out a hefty fine. Look, just play the game fairly like everyone else and we won't have any problems. Absolute savagery. Good for you developers, you sure showed those cheaters. Guys, thank you for checking out the list, and for more video game lists, make sure to like and subscribe to Watch Mojo.